Hey guys, welcome to a Ghetto Girl Eats a Talk. And today I have a very special guest that I'm super excited about. For one, because she's super thick like me and she's gonna teach me how to bust it. Bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it. And it just 
add the variety. But like, it, I don't know what it do for real. I just know I ain't gonna lie to you. I see my summer is bringing it to me. But it tastes good. But it tastes so good. Okay, man. It tastes good. It tastes so good. I don't really know what it do, but it just tastes good. It don't make it sour. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, yeah, okay. So, we about to do it today. So, could you, if you don't mind, could you start peeling the jam while I start chopping up the, or you want to chop and I want you. Okay, you. Because I, like, yeah, I feel like I feel like I feel like you more the the cutting kind of girl. Like, I don't like, know. You like you cut people, so let's just let you cut. Uh, like, so, where, and uh, I'm gonna uh, cutely as nicely. Okay, chop a little. All right, so I'm gonna get you to chop this. Let me take out. We're gonna take the first part off first. Oh my god, she looks strong. Yeah, she looks strong. <laughs> You know what? I ain't never even used like the shaving cut thing before. I be using a knife. Really? Yeah, I'm using oh, a knife. You really yeah, that's why I was like, no, I'm gonna let you never use it. I'm gonna use it. Oh, I'm very. I'm gonna just Growing up, your pregnancy was not, and you 
my mind. I'm like, I don't even know how to do it cute style. Yeah, I really didn't even do that cute. I really said, you, when I tell you, you got in them. Yeah, I okay, alright, cool. Let me go with my favorite. Alright, cool. Period. Alright, thank you. <laughs> alright, so while we, like, you know, in the atmosphere, and y'all know this is Get a Girl Eats Talk Show. Alright, so, you know what? This is so amazing because I used to always love Ricky Lake. Mm-hmm. And Ricky Lake used to always have me gotten cue cards like this. <laughs> and I have always wanted a cue card. <laughs> we got some cue cards today. Oh, good. We got some cue okay, cards. Right. Alright, so being that you are like from Houston and you are from Dallas. Dallas. Oh wait, okay, from Houston, from Dallas. Being right. that you are from Dallas, um, but Texas, okay. Yeah. And then being that you are signed to 1501, I know you get a lot of comparisons like, mm-hmm. oh, Megan, you remind me of Megan, mm-hmm. you know, your sound sound like Megan. How do you feel about the comparisons and how do you like handle it as far as like Instagram and people? So, you know. Um, at first it was like a little different for me because I had never been like compared to anybody to that capacity. Um, but then I started to just take it for what it is. I had to realize like people are going to have their own opinion, people are going to feel how they feel, like people are going to be a fan of me or not. Like it's been times where I've been at a show or I've been to the club and somebody been like, Hey Megan, and to you, to me. And knowing good goddamn well you ain't no baby. Now you now we I I like Megan. I think her music is good, but I also right. think your music is good too. Thank you. I don't understand why two girls can't sit next to each other and be great. I feel like the media does that. Yeah, me too. I feel like the media. Me too. I got this whole thing where it's like the girl that's sitting next to me is my sister, not my right. competition. Like I don't never want to be in competition with no girl, especially a black girl, especially no girl, right. because it's literally enough money and room for both of us to win and be great. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I just feel like that's so sucker, and I yeah. hate how social media try to portray and put us against each other. Right. That's that it's just lame. Like why can't both of y'all be from da- uh, uh, Texas? Right. And both have this Texas twang and both yeah. be good and know how to fucking twerk. And know how to fucking stand on y'all knees for a long time. Like, yeah. What the fuck? Why the fuck y'all? I think like the world is so used to like drama. So it's like if it's not dramatic, like the world don't care for it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So it's like let us make it dramatic. So and then that's what makes art. Let me ask you. Crazy. But wait, so have you, you and Megan? Do y'all have like a? Are y'all cool with each other? Do y'all know each other? We've never met in person. We had like a brief conversation like three years ago. On some personal shit, like on some parts of our shit. But other than that, like, never been a person, don't personally know her, um, never even seen her, period. Other than her. Yeah, like, and a lot of people think that we've, like, met and, like, had a problem or something. Never I hate person. that. Maybe yeah. it's so dope. I think you're so dope. I just feel like that be bullshit. I don't like that. I feel like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. But you know what I hate about the media? Like, you could like a person. And like the media can make you not like a person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, how I go from liking this person to feeling like it's an issue when it's really even not an issue there. But that's what, but see, that's what you as an individual gotta be strong at. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure that you get in your mind and have your energy and you make sure you pray and talk to God so that your heart can be pure and and right. Because you can never let the the media uh, uh, twist you in your mind to make you feel yeah. like you're against a person. And right. Especially if you never met them yeah. and you don't know them. But you know what? I think I allowed the media to do that with that situation. Really? Yeah, because I was new to the industry. Like, like, I love you being transparent about that. Yeah. I love that. I can say that. Like, I can I love say that. that. Like, I think the world made me feel like it's a problem. Yeah. And so I kind of started like feeling like, damn, maybe it is. But then I started feeling like, we even met. Like, yeah. so the internet, I can definitely y'all say. Y'all in y'all yeah. own lanes and all that. Yeah. So let me tell you what I do. So what I do is, like, uh, my team, they know if somebody's doing what I'm doing, which is this cooking stuff is new for me. Um, I always did, like, you know, my, I always had my shop. You can eat a lot of I asked my first time. Oh. I just wanted to try it. It's that, <laughs> it's that <laughs> piece of up. But... <laughs> but you know, like, being in the industry and stuff, I always tell my team, they'll tell you, like, I don't play about that. Don't send me nobody's page. 
No. I literally, on some real shit, Erica, I literally watch my own. People think I'm crazy. I literally watch my own page every day, all day. I'm concerned with what I'm doing. Me how too. I'm doing it, critiquing myself. Yeah. And if I can do a better way, I think it's coming to living. It's all right. It's coming to living. And I, I preview it the other day. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my phone. Okay, so I'm what they am, but see, this is a little trick. This is how I do mine. So I boil mine first. I know your grandma ain't used to be doing all that, but y'all, she's showing me so much that I ain't never seen before. <laughs> Watch me. We gonna we gonna roll with it though. We gonna roll with it. Watch me take this food. Hold on, let me see if I use my hands. You know, when I had I had looked up a recipe on how to make sweet potatoes, and I mean I found my own little bit there too, but. It said like if you put too much water in it, like what you just did. It said it's gonna do something bad. It said, but I trust you, cause I know you did this before. You know what? She was a black auntie though. She was a black auntie. She had like three million views. Like the comments is like I come here every year to watch this. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta make sure it's the right people. Okay, I just put some salt. I put some salt. When I can mm-hmm. watch, watch how you about to love these. Um, am I gonna love them? Am I gonna like them? You gonna love them? Okay, good. Cause let's start, man. I'm done. You're not gonna taste it all. I never seen it. But what I was saying was, like, I feel like sometimes the internet will, like you were saying, it's very damaging because it's like you can't be for somebody you don't know. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible. Like you know what I'm saying? And 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 they and so often. The internet seems to do that. You know what I'm saying? Put us against each other. I know I had to catch myself a lot of times. Like, this girl don't even know me. Like, I'm so big on calling somebody. Yeah. Like, I just opened the glam shop back up, right? <clears throat> my shop. My shop closed for like a year and a half after COVID. And I had been in business since I was for like 16 years. Mm-hmm. So I closed it down because COVID happened. Everybody was wanting doing hair out of their house and just other stuff. So um, now I'm rehiring and people coming up for some up shop, right? Right. So this girl posted my Instagram, oh, this girl that's working at Sierra Glam Shop shop literally took my whole concept and she gives it to um, Sierra. I called her a couple times, she didn't pick up, but I'm calling her like, babe, I got like four other businesses that's doing a million dollars a piece. I don't, like I love yeah. Glam Shop because it's, I'm humble and the Glam right. Shop is who made me and who got me to where I am, but I'm not about to be with you about no. Not about, not about that. Um, not about no person that used to work in my shop. I mean, they used to work in your shop. They're yeah. not working in my shop. Yeah. I literally called her a few times. She didn't answer, but I want to still have a conversation with her. Like, I, I love girls. Like, I love brown yeah. skin. I love women. Like, I am a modern husband. Call me a feminist. Like, I love women. Yeah. I love everything about us. No, I'm not gay, but I love us because we're so powerful. Like, right. we are taking over the world. We messing stuff up right now. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like literally, we just literally. dominate in the world. So it's just like, I don't want to be with you. Let's have a conversation. Yeah. So maybe, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, like, because I know everybody compared to you and Megan. Maybe y'all should just just be on some yeah, y'all need to make a song together or something. That'd be dope. You know, a lot of people like have said that even today, like people say that, or even in interviews I've done. They've asked me like if I would, and I've never been opposed to it because if I was opposed to it, then that means that there's a problem there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not the kind of person to be like, hey, let's just be friends, girl. Like I'm not that girl, but I'm not that girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm not opposed to being a real woman. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't so feel if, if it if, if it comes about and if the conversation slides on the table, you will definitely be willing to do it. I would. I would you just. You know what it is sometimes as women, especially as black women, and I say black women because we've always grown in tough situations yeah. that makes us so hard for us. They yeah. be like, why black girls are so mean? Because we grew up fucking. Like, my mama. In survival, like, in survival mode. Yeah. Like, my mom used to be like, go to the store with the $10 and bring me back my 985. It's like, yeah. mom. And make sure you get this kind of seasoning and go this speed limit and be back at this time. Yeah, so we, <laughs> it's like, like, we grew up different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, with, with people, you can't be like, why black girls are so mean? It's like, we grew up, we grew up out of survival. We didn't grow up. 
right. like everybody else. So I feel like if she, with, with you, it's like, oh, you know, I wouldn't mind doing it, but I would have to know her temperature of how she's coming first. Right, exactly. Let me ask you a question, because we about to get into these um, cabbages that you don't slice up in the quarter size. Okay. What do you put like octopus inside your cabbage? I've never done that. I've seen people do it. Mm -hmm. Like I normally put um, bell peppers in it, depending on how much time I got or what I'm doing. But I ain't never put sausage in there. I'm gonna put a little bell peppers in here too. Okay, here. So you got all my vibe. Okay. The sausage mm -hmm. is different, but I have had it with it, so I know it's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with this um, particular sausage. It's so what kind of is it? It's called. Say it, cause I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, it's hot. It's spicy. Yeah, it's con con condrich. Did you make that up? I don't. I don't think you made it up. Say it, Flavin. What is it? Just say con 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 con. It's like con. It's say they don't con crit con con con. Come on, but we can't. We don't. It's say I'm telling you, say con con. It's always say con con. Okay. Like conquer. 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 Like yeah. in, the, in the southern. Exactly. Okay. It's like, <laughs> so that conquer be so good. So, so good. Okay, so for next two times, I know you was dating him. I seen it was a thing. Y'all was like on Instagram and stuff. So what's going on with that whole situation? So that was a cute moment. Mm -hmm. It was cute. It was fun for what it was. Mm -hmm. um, but we no longer date or kick it. We still cool. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, like, we still cool, like, it ain't no beef, I don't hate him, he don't hate me, like. Is he older? He older than me, yeah. How many years? I'm 24, about six, about six or seven, I don't know, to be exact, but about six or seven. But, um, yeah, it was a cute moment, you know, we was kicking it, we was chilling, like, that was a cool thing, but, you know, shit ain't work out, and <laughs> we was cool when it not working out, we wasn't mad, like, it was just like, all right, we just gonna be friends then. It was what it was. It was what it was. Now, I will say. Do you miss him? No. Were y'all intimate? We was intimate. Cause, okay, cool. We was intimate, but he told the world that, like, after we was, like, done, he told the world that I was too masculine. Like. What? I was too dominant. Like, I was too, like, manly. And I'm like, that's manly. just. I guess because the way I talk, like, when I'm talking to a dude, I come off a little aggressive. I'm not, like, the softest woman. But it got to be a certain man for you to be a soft yeah. woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I so, I guess it was just, you know, it being him made me feel yeah. like I got to put my, like, yeah. ugh, oh, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And yeah. he took it as me being asking a child, but he'll be okay. So, but, how, but so how long was y'all together? Like, two weeks. <gasps> <laughs> Not the 
put my music, like, I just, I, like, you know. Okay, so do, okay, okay, so, uh, what do you like? Do you like average? Do you like, can you do small? Is small more like, or can you work with small? I mean, like, I mean, it's just like, uh, for me, for you, I'm married, but yeah. I mean, this is the show with a card. This is the card. Look, look, get the card. Get the card. Get the card. Get the card. Okay. And I ask you. Okay, so, when dealing with men, <laughs> what size do you prefer? And if it is not the size that you prefer, are you willing to proceed? Um, with me, honestly, because if I could be a thousand percent honest, be a thousand. Okay, so I got married really young. I didn't okay. Know, I haven't been with that many men. Okay. How old were you got married? I was 18. Yeah. So I was married for eight years. Wow. That's inspiring. Yeah, so I was married for eight years, so I haven't been with, I can literally count on one hand how many guys I've been with. That's so Maybe good. two. I ain't gonna lie. It was like six guys. But, um, I really, I'm not sex, that department. Don't sit here and tell me that it don't matter to you, because girl, I'm no, not. No, it matters. Let me tell you something. That oh. department, I wish I can, I, but I wish I would have experienced more just so I can know so I can properly answer your question yeah. but I know enough I've been with enough men to know that like I don't like little things so you can't hook with that man like I don't sure like it, it like I don't like it like that's not I mean but then again like I don't like little big either because I'd be, I'd be like I can't be too big it's just uncomfortable like I ain't gonna lie I wish I knew more like if I could be a thousand percent honest I wish I knew more about this yeah and maybe you could teach me Maybe I can teach you. Because my little sister, she's 10 years younger than me, and she can teach me stuff. How old she is then? How old your sister is? She's 22. Oh, she's around my age. I'm 24. 24. So 24. if she can teach you some shit, I can teach you some shit. Maybe you can teach me. Teach me. Because, like, I want to know more stuff. Like, I want to be more advanced than that. But I just yeah. thank God that, like, my husband now, he's been very patient with me because That's I so really good. don't know a whole lot about sex. I'm very immature. In That's not a bad thing, thing, though. I feel like it just come with, like, being ready that you can go it's and that, you know? It is, though. So I feel like, men, like, like, been outside and, like, in this day and age, people, men been outside, they been fucking. Like, men been outside been, since they was outside. Yeah, literally. so it's just like, they be kind of annoy a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that, now one thing I can say is that, you know, in this apartment, I feel like, I know, I'm not even going to say, feel like, it's like top show. Yeah. You and you gonna be, it's gonna be like real quick for you. Yeah. It's like, it's like, you can't even like hold out. Like, I can put a pimp on that. Okay, because I was just about to say, so how do you feel about your skin? Yeah, mine's okay. like, I, I walk around like this. <laughs> you said you said I was too masculine. Why? Do you vote me? Excuse me. Do you vote me? Excuse me. me. Yeah, <laughs> definitely do you vote me because you know. <laughs> but, you know, I do. Honestly, I wish I would have, you know, I don't really know much, you know? But that's okay. That's okay. Like, you, you got time to learn, like, you got to like, be showing me. Period. Yeah. Whatever you want to know, just ask me. Yeah. And I still kind of need you boiling the game. Y'all, she's <laughs> boiling the game. Yep. Never seen it in my life. And they were but I'm not going to judge her. Like, she's my sister. Five moments. You finna love. They said online not to do this. They did. Because yeah. I'm telling you, it, wasn't, not, it wasn't no black entity, it was big arms. Okay, okay, no, she had no one. She had a little one. With the arrow. No, yeah, she had no We need to put the cabbages on in here. Okay, let's all put cabbage. But wait, you got the other cabbage? Yeah, we're going to put this one on first. Okay, period. And then we're going to cook these. These sausages, this, this shit can be so good. I ain't going to take it down. We could put all of that. Look at all this goodness, y'all. All in one. You going to put that in first? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'm going to put this. I'm gonna try to get a like um, a up close shot of that. And you know what? I love color in food, like the red, and the green, too. like the yellow. I love color. I'm the same way with this. Me too. And I eat it so places. Yes, with a fork out oh, cube oh. with some wine. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god, this is so good. I haven't even tasted it yet. But Look, but you can smell it though. Mm -hmm. You can smell it. Come on, parsley. Mm -hmm. Look kind. Look kind. Come on. Now, see, I don't think people do it online, but I be thinking that it's going to be a loud You love online, <laughs> No, look. <laughs> she love online. I love her online. You want me to be here now? Or no? You let, it, let it cook a little bit. Okay, period. What the point? All right. Don't scare me. All right, okay. So, okay. now we're going to drain that out. But really, you have to let it. These got them down to be good as hell. I hope so, because I can't believe you cooked them that way. I'm not even mad at you for that. But, yeah. 
but it might be so good. That's gonna be a fun. So y'all, I'm scared. Let me say that, okay? Because I don't cook my yams like this. She cooks her yams like this. I've never put them in a pan. But I'm gonna trust my good sis today because uh, what's behind me smells real good. So we're gonna go with her way today and hopefully it's good. But I'm trusting. All right, so now you about to see what I'm about to do with this lemon. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh, I can't watch you do this. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't can't believe this shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then you're gonna take your cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That's normal, that's normal. And then lots and lots of sugar. Oh, we can brown and sugar. Mm -hmm. I want to Well, while I'm doing this, I got another question. Mm -hmm. Brown sugar, both sugars. We're going to do regular sugar. Let me get that sugar right there. Like sugar. So, we always see you in the vlog, right? About mm -hmm. different stuff, what's mm -hmm. going on in your life, or in your personal life. What is one thing that you can say, like, people have a misconception of Erica Banks? Like, what you want to tell the world? Um, you know, a lot of people think that I'm this villain. Or, like, people think I'm, like, the Incredible Hulk. Or, like, what is it? Yeah, like, like a mean person? Like, a mean bitch in the room. Like, no. yeah, like, and I guess, I don't know, I guess if you don't know me, it come off like that because I'm so vocal. Mm -hmm. And, like, a lot of things that I say... Like, out in the media, like, people are just like, oh, my God, like, why would you say something like that? And really, when I have those moments, it's just me being real. You know, mm -hmm. it's just me saying how I feel or whatever. But when people meet me, they be like, oh, my God, oh, you're so nice. Like, they be like, oh, my God, I can't believe, like, the internet makes you seem like that. And I'm like, yeah, girl, the internet is the internet. But I'm really not the meanest bitch in the room. I'm probably the nicest bitch in the room. Like, I'm not the greenest bitch. Like, I don't get it, Mr. Proof, but I'm not the mean girl. You know, but you don't know that until you meet me. And then once people meet me, it's like, oh my God, I love her. So that's probably the biggest, I mean, misconception. But you can't believe everything you see on the internet. Like, yeah. I need people to wake up and like realize that. That you like but, um, a real ass person. And I'm a real ass person. I feel like the internet is a demon sometimes. Let me have the, um, it's the devil. It's, it's the, the devil. It's the devil because, like you said, we talked about earlier, like, it be the. It be the people, the followers that actually put us against each other. It is. It is. And I feel like a lot of people allow the internet to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But once you master like the internet and know how to like maneuver and deal with it, and you know, mm -hmm. it get easier. For the most part, you just gotta act like that shit. Don't you gotta act exist. like it don't even exist. Like outside yeah, out of mind. I, do. I really be acting like the internet don't exist. I go in there, I post my shit, I look at my own stuff. Yeah, and then I just don't be on there for real. Look at all this shit I'm putting in there. Okay, this is giving. Why is this all the sugar in there? This is about to be so good. I'm telling you. This is, this don't is sugar about rush. The lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and he can do it in time. Oh, the lemon. Oh, this sweet potato salad will be mad as hell. I'm gonna be so mad. They so good. <laughs> they about to be so, so good. And then you gonna right. put these right in the oven. I might have to try this way of making them. I might have to do that. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. And we cannot cook a dish without our vinegar and seasoning. Come up now. And y'all know today's show is sponsored by Ghetto Girl E Seasoning. You cannot cook without it. It literally goes on everything. I've literally been seasoning everything. I'm not, I'm not sure why we're putting um, butter <laughs> in the cabbage, but again, I'm going to trust my sis, and then it's not even regular butter, it's garlic butter, so I'm going to just roll with it, today I'm going to just roll it with it, but I'm a little scared about this too, she just scared me with the lemon, and the sweet potatoes, but she scared me with the butter, and the cabbage, but that might be a good thing, it might be a good thing, so, we're going to rock with it. It look good though, and it smells so good. It looks like, huh. I don't know if you're even playing. I'm not even playing, I'm not even mad. I don't even want to my fingers again, because that's a ghetto blend from what I'm fixing. I can taste the butter. I can taste the butter. I don't know where the hell she went, but she coming back. Ah, but until then, 
we gonna assume obviously that we're gonna do the fishnets and I see some lime over here. My girl been doing some crazy shit, so I'm gonna assume the lime is for the fish, but we're not gonna be mad at that either. So whenever she come back, I'm gonna ask her to explain why it's some lime. Now she back. Okay, period. So, so now we're about to make this fry fish. Okay. All right, so you got your meal, and I put a little bit of flour inside of my meal. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people are going to argue me down about this, and they don't like to put flour when they fry their fish. I but typically don't put flour on my fish. It just gives it that extra little cream. Oh, you just want a little extra? Okay. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. Thing, like. like flour and meal. Like, it just gives that extra little cream. It's not good. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. And I put my girl, girl, even in that thing. Girl, I'm gonna be a chef so bad. Why you took the words in my mouth? I was like, I wanna be a chef. I was like, I'm gonna get a bit of it. I'm gonna tell her. She wanna be a chef so bad. She wanna be a chef so bad. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this in the fish. Okay, come on. And then people be getting mad because I clean my fish, baby. I don't trust you. You're supposed to clean every type of meat. Like, yeah. if the meat not clean, you're not supposed to even put it in your mouth. Yeah, That's so. fish. That's fish. Ooh, that's fish. Okay, so I do a drizzle a little bit of this. Come on, guys, go. And then I just 
five to eight years. Uh -huh. Right. Normally, okay, period. And let me tell y'all something. This is my kitchen, my way, my rules. I don't want to hear nothing about, well, this is our kitchen, period. our way. Period. So I like to cook beans with my wine. You know what I'm saying? What makes sure get a girl eat? What makes sure get a girl that cooks? Like, I don't know. Don't be telling me about my nails. Don't be talking about my I hair. hate that. Like, mind y'all. I hate it. Like, like, and you're going to eat the plate tonight. Yeah, like, this like, is, like, first of all, I'm clean. As you yeah. can see, my house is super clean. I got OCD. Yeah. And my family going to eat it. Baby, my hair always going to be at the back of my neck. Period. My hair is Long always going to be at the back of my neck. It's not on your phone. I don't want to hear shit about Yeah, it. shut up, baby. I don't want to hear about it, baby. So Come then you're going to do baste it with a little hot sauce. That look good, huh? Yeah, it does. It's giving Dallas. It's giving Dallas. It's giving Dallas. It's giving Dallas. Okay. Mm -hmm. You better mm -hmm. say that. You gotta take it. I gotta take it. It's a little scary, but I'm gonna take it. Please take me. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Where you from? The west side is the down there. goes down over there. Ooh, I do not want to go to the west side. I'm gonna go to the south. Ooh, great. Mm-hmm. You're ma'am. You're gonna go to the south. Please. Take it to the south. Take and it over there. And of course, we use it to get a girl eat. Season. I literally put this on everything. And because I season my berry, you don't want to put too much seasoning on it. Right, right, right. And what I love about my seasoning, it's literally everything that your grandma, you know how like your grandma is like, give me a little bit of this, yeah. give me a little bit of that, give yeah. me a little bit of ice, garlic, um, red pepper. You can really smell it. Like I can yeah, smell it. It's, it's like time. different flavors in it. Like. It's like I literally took everything that my grandma used to mix up and put it in one, in one bottle. That like a can of sugar. A garlic, thyme, onion, like onion powder. It's literally everything that you will use. I can literally see it. Like, wow. it's so good. So, so good. It's in one bottle, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you ain't even got to pull out 12 mm -hmm. different seasons to make it messy. Like, nope. This is just what I like. <coughs> okay. Tell me so. Mm -hmm. And don't stand too close because, like, you'll be sneezing. I did not want to say that, but it's burning the <laughs> fuck out my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Who I didn't want to say that? I did not want to feel weak and say that, but yeah, it's just from the nail. I'm gonna set the other time. Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's how I know it's for real here. Mm -hmm. That shit's probably better. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we know we're gonna wear a shit up in there. Up a little bit. Now, y'all, don't be too heavy handed like she is because she knows what she's doing. Okay? So if you don't know what you're doing, you can always season it like I did my fish last Tuesday and I was mad at hell. So. What you did, taco fried too? Tuesday on taco fried? I goddamn felt like some fish on a Tuesday. You, it be like that. You know what I'm saying? I do a whole bowl of fucking. Girl, collard greens on Tuesday. Let me feel like I want some. I don't care what day it is. Like, but I over season my fish because yeah. I was like doing this right here and then I put the fish fry on top. Mm -hmm. And it was just super fucking salty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know now, but mm -hmm. I was like, why did that? Mm -hmm. yep. That smells so good. It smells good. I love how you playing in the fish, but not playing. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love a deep fry. Do you? I be frying it in front of me. Really? I'm real. But you, I'm like, real. It's nothing wrong with a frying pan. I just love a deep fry, though. It's easier, though. Mm -hmm. Like, it's cleaner. Like, the meat just being a damn. Yeah, girl, literally. Okay, I'm on the right show. You on the right show. <laughs> I'm on the right fucking show. You like yours like crispy or like not so crunchy? Cause some people like that shit crispy, and some people like it. I like, mine, like it. I like mine well done, like crispy. I like yours, like not so not so crispy. I do that. Do I? What do that look like? I don't know. You just you. I just be like you don't like too well done. Nah. Like I don't like my shit like a chip or nothing. Mm -mm. Oh, I love it crispy. I love mm -mm. crispy. Mm -mm. I feel like, oh, it gotta be crispy. Eating my chicken, I don't like my chicken crispy. They suck the chicken earlier too crispy for you a little bit. It was a little too crispy. Yeah. It was good though. Yeah. Like, it was good, but I like mine a little soggy. Yeah, for real? Not soggy, I have to work But just like, like, just enough done, not too well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my mom, she hate that shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, like I was bringing that, that chicken earlier off. It was, was still good. Done. The flavors was still there. No, the flavors was there for sure. Okay. The flavors was there. Yes, indeed. It's a cute air fryer too. Mm -hmm. This ain't even no air fryer. I really wish a deep fry. I really wish you, I had that double one. They got a new one. It's it got like fry. a double one. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I had Bobby air fryer and I tried to just put chicken in it. Mm -hmm. And I fucked it up because I put flour on the chicken. Oh my and God. And put it in the air fryer. Yeah. I know, and it came out like rubber. Like, and I just threw the whole damn air fryer in the trash. Like, I just, and I just made my chicken a regular way in the frying pan. Let just, me ask you a question. Can you see, like, when I'm cooking, I kind of get, like, I don't know a little bit. I can tell. I can tell. That's a good thing. Like, I don't really, I can really entertain, but when I'm cooking, it's like, okay, everybody should fuck up. Yeah, I can tell. Mm -hmm. I have, like, really slowed up a whole lot. Have you? How? I just, like, I just like told myself, like, girl, I'm ready. I'm tired. I want you to fully and solely be with You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I want out. I want out to bring you down. When do you like about drinking? I like how it is. Anything? Yes, me too. Woo -hoo. Let the slightest thing make me mad say I'm drinking. I feel like I'm gonna get rid of. I need a drink. Like I ain't gonna lie, my best friend told me last night her boyfriend got shot in the head two times. Ooh. And I was doing so good. I ain't drink all that. I was like, I need a drink. Oh my goodness. My kids was like, Mom. I was like, But they don't understand. I need a drink. They don't understand yet. Like God is trying to use me. Yes, I need a drink. Yes. You know what and you know it's okay to use a drink before you start to do the Lord's work. Because sometimes it you works. Need to you can like, hear better. You know, I you, I can feel like everything's in my When I was tipsy, I feel like God, like I can hear what God is saying exactly. And that's God. crazy to put in one sentence, but I feel like that too. Because you know, Peter, he had a little drinking spirit. What's it, Peter? Huh? Peter was drinking. Yeah, he had a Peter spirit. was not my drunk. He was, he but he was, had wine. He, no, he get to it, But I mean, I feel like he did a little bit more than wine. But you know, they said like they all them in the Bible just drink a lot. Right? Yeah, because Jesus turned the water into wine. Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. And they, they used to drink. But see, but see, they used to drink, but they didn't get drunk. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say that I don't think but they drink. I used to like last night after everybody got on my nerves. I was in there like. Uh, you just like, be feeling real like, you be wanting to sway, uh, you know what I'm saying? But that's the problem. So it's like, I can, it just, and I know God is ready for me to do. Because I be so tuned in, like, I literally can see you, like, next level see stuff. So before it happens, I can see, like, I can tell you some stuff when you stop doing it. But, tell me some stuff I didn't know. Yeah, for real. I'll probably need to hear it anyway. Like, even about this guy, too, I can see. But, but tell me about this man. He's sweet. He loves he likes you a lot, he do. But he just, he got little ways about him though. And he a little sneaky. He sneaky? He don't be telling all the truth, truth. But he's so sweet though. Because he don't want you to go nowhere. Because he really likes you. For real? But somebody who got a He got a secret? Or he got a secret? No, he a woman that likes a dead lover. Who got a baby? Hell no. Okay, well who is this? He someone. He ain't no kid. No, he got some woman that did. But I mean, it had on him like a week or so. I mean, I've been knowing him for like six years, but mm -hmm. we just started talking like on his who, that, who did he say he was with somebody before you? I mean, before he started talking, who was it? Just like him. Like, he ain't, we ain't get to that. Uh, but I know like before, it's been a way since he been in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But he been dealing with women, mm -hmm. like on some casual shit before me. Mm -hmm. But... He better not be sneaky, because right now he giving me, like, super honest, like. No, he's not sneaky, but the ladies just like him a lot. Well, she needs to go ahead and unlike him. How old is he? 30. Because y'all would be so perfect, Lisa. Make sure I get the details. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, you real southern. You like oh, to yeah, get girl. your food together. We gonna get a bite. Oh, hold on, look hold on. at that. We gonna. Get out. Get out with this shit. Get the fuck up out of here. 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 Get the fuck up but it's so good, y'all. I'm not even playing. I'm not even. Hold on, y'all. I was boiling them yams. Y'all, she boiled the yams. I don't even do that shit. It's so good. That's so good for real. It needs no hot sauce. I'm a hot sauce head girl. I love hot sauce. Okay, which kind of hot sauce you like? Louisiana. Yeah. I, well, I'm a crystal girl. What the I used girl? to be a, a Louisiana back in the day when I was younger. And then you got bougie. Yeah. That's, oh, what yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. That's what happened. That's what happened. I ain't never seen powdered sugar. Oh, yeah. You did something new today. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm at the state fair. Mm -hmm. Like in Texas, we got like big funnel cakes and shit. And we mm -hmm. real big on like sugar powder and shit like that. So the fact that she put it on here, hold on, y'all. And it's oh. the sausages inside of the cabbage. And I told her, I said, I ain't never like put sausage and like spices in my cabbage, but bitch. Ask me if I'm gonna do it now. You gonna do it now? I'm gonna do it now. You gonna do it? It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Welcome to a ghetto girl eats cooking talk show. Listen, she did her motherfucking thing. She had me on here. I loved y'all. Had the best time. Make sure y'all check out my new single, Ain't Got Time. Yes. By yours truly. Yes. And if y'all have not checked out my girl seasoning or her cookbook. Check it to my motherfucking sister. Mm -hmm. Period. And y'all make sure y'all be looking for us next because our next segment gonna be on twerking because she about to show me how to push it. I'm about to show her and all of y'all who want to learn. Because so, all of y'all got fat asses but don't know how to use it. So we're gonna show y'all. You show me how to use mine. Because you got a lot. Yeah, so I, I don't get it. Like it's a lot. For no reason. Like it just dead. Just and it just flops on my trailer. Like, you see what? You already on top. What you talking about? Okay, you see how yours was like this? Well, it's, I got it the butterfly. Like, like, it's an ankle. Yeah, exactly. Feel it? Okay, next time. Yeah. <laughs>